You know what song I have stuck in my Monique head? Monique retweeted her tweet. Cute. Cute. What tweet? Do you know what song I have stuck in my head? Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Do you know what song is stuck in my head? That Muffin Man song, you just said it! That's not the song. Give me a hint. It's older. What? That's relative. It's from, Older than what? It's from high school. It's from high school. When we were in high school. Give me the band. Uh, no. I was just singing it. I was, I never listen. Jimmy, you sing all the time. I can't listen to it all the time. Her name is Noelle. I, know. I had a dream about her. She rings my bell. Ding! Got gym class at seven, now we're in a And drive the night by. We should just go make a karaoke and channel, she, apparently. I think we should just go make a karaoke channel, yeah. And she doesn't give a damn about me. Cause I'm just a teenage dirt bag, baby. I'm just a Why teenage dirt bag. Because I'm disgusting right now. I look water. like a teenage dirt bag. Wouldn't change. I have 10 pounds of dry shampoo in my hair. Jack, are you ready or what? Yep. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about Borgans. and karaoke. Exactly. Thumbs up and comment below if you think that we should start a karaoke channel. We won't. But let us know if you want we us might. to. We might. If you guys really want it, I would do it. Nope. And it would be all chipmunk style music. <laughs> That would be a hit. <laughs> would you guys like that? I'd like that. We are here today to do a video for you, believe it or not. I know that's not what we typically do. We saw a video a few weeks ago, a month ago, from our friends Carlo and Dylan over at All You Can Board. And they did a video all about board games that they've cool. Carlo on. and Dylan, can you get to a convention or something? I mean, seriously. So we can meet you, please? What is it? Did one of you just have a baby or My something? My goodness, like, on, the excuses. Together. Carlo and Dylan, All You Can Board, if you haven't checked them out, please do so, because they are amazing. They did a video about board games that they cooled on, and we thought, that's a great idea, because we've been in the hobby now since 2016, and there are some games from our earlier days that we loved, that maybe now we still like them. Yeah, I just want to be clear on this because mm -hmm. people are going to come at us. Don't come at we us. We still really like all of these games. Yeah. It's just in relation to how much we used to love them, it's cool. Like so. Like some of them would have been on like our top tens and now they would no longer be on our top tens. I would play all still, of these. Yeah, we still own, well, that's not true. There's one of them that we don't own. We are going to jump into it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six plus games. Because Six. there's another one that I want to mention, even though oh. Jeff doesn't agree with me. Wow, curveball. Which one? I'm not telling you until the time is right. <sighs> Let's get started. We will save this one for last. That's going to be uh, spicy. Yeah, First that up one. on the list is more me than you. Yeah, I never liked this game. You've only played it like once yeah, and you didn't, didn't like not it. like it. I did not like it, but I didn't love it. The first game I've cooled on, Jamie, uh, who cares? That is... <laughs> Terraforming Mars from Stronghold Games. Mm -hmm. Quickly, because I'm sure people in the comments are going to be like, what about all the expansions? I haven't played any of the expansions. Not one. I've only played base game. This one. And I know they're going to be like, you have to play the expansions. It makes the game so much better. But we didn't play I've them. just really cooled on the base game. That's true. So Jeff I'm not used to like really. love this now, game. Now, I bet you if I pulled this out with one of the expansions... I'd fall back in love with it. We also haven't played uh, Ares Expedition. We haven't played any of the expansions. That's not which... even an expansion. It's okay. It's a different game. We haven't played any of the expansions or any of the other content put out for Terraforming Mars. We've only played the game that's sitting here in front of me. This one. Is that better? Mm-hmm. I was she, just stating that we haven't Jamie played it. Jamie is in a mood oh, tonight. Jeff is in a mood She's tonight. She's been pissing me off. She's Terraforming been... Mars is one that really propelled me into the hobby. Mm-hmm. I played a lot of it with Jamie's brother and our friend Matt, who actually was in the Final Girl video. Yep. And then Matt kind of fell out of the hobby for a while. We moved away. Mm -hmm. And this just never got played again. No. Since then. Yep. It's been years since we've played this. I don't know where it fits anymore, um, given that I know a lot of people are probably going to hit me up in the comments because I know what this game I don't is. Know. I feel like other people have also pulled on it. Like, um, you never hear about it anymore, you know? It's I like, just feel like there's other games that scratch the itch to Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars was like one of the first like grandiose games that I played where there was a ton of different strategies and synergies and card play. Mm -hmm. 
and I fell in love with it. But now that I've played so many other games like that, I don't know where Terraforming Mars fits for me. Love the theme. Thanks. I would like to try some of the other stuff that's come out for it and see if I still feel the same way. Mm -hmm. But one that I'm just now kind of like, meh, about. Meh. The next one on the list was one of our gateway games, okay? I just made a weird sound. <laughs> what did you do? I was like, mm. <laughs> Mm. And that is Clank, a deck building adventure. Now, this... are you okay? Are you only saying Clank this version or all Clanks? This version, not space, not space. This version specifically. This game gave us all of the feels when we first got it. Got... <laughs> When we first got into the hobby. When we first guarded under the herb. Stood the meeper. Jeff booked a meeting with No, him. I didn't. And he typed our name, Foster the Meeper. M-E-E-P-E-R. I didn't. So I'm changing we all don't our know. names to Foster the Meeper. Now, this game gave us all the feels when we first started. We love this game. We played my brother's copy. We immediately I went out. I still really like this. I still really like this game. We immediately went out and bought this copy, our own copy. And then we ended up getting Clank in Space. Clank in Space is almost like a step up from regular Clank. And now after playing Clank in Space, and we've also played Clank Legacy. Not all of it. Not all of it, but like most of it. <laughs> after playing all of those, this one's just not as good. It's not as, no, I shouldn't say that. It's not as like complex. It doesn't give like a little bit extra. I think this game is perfect if you're just getting into the hobby. And I think this game is perfect if you just kind of want to go back to an old familiar. But I just cooled on it. I still like it. I still love this game. But I'm. it's just never one that I'm reaching for ever. I think for me, this, this game is in a scale of similar games that I think you kind of work through as a hobby gamer. Yeah. The first one is on this list already and i'm not going to mention it for spoilers. spoilers then you kind of get into this one mm -hmm. and then i think you move forward into games like arnak and mm -hmm. dune where there's a deck building component and yeah. then some deep strategy in terms of action selection and that sort of thing yeah but i think this one fits right in that growth spectrum there's still a place for this in mm -hmm. our collection and it will most likely never leave our collection that is clank we still a like deck it deck building adventure, adventure. I'm going on an adventure next one up actually still holds a really special place in my little hearts of heart most of these do yeah this is one jamie and i fell absolutely mm -hmm. in love with it another one of our like gateway games uh, definitely a gateway game and one that really introduced me into what miniatures can can do to a game and I fell in love with that. Mm -hmm. And that is Arcadia Quest. Arcadia Quest. We've played base Arcadia Quest and grave, grave something. something. <laughs> Into the grave. Big Beyond game. the grave? Beyond the grave. That might be it. Arcadia Quest was one we got into very early as well. And we actually also got another friend into it as well. Yep. He went out and bought Star Arcadia Quest. Star Arcadia Quest. It's just one of those games that... Now that we've moved on to bigger, more robust, scenario-based campaign-ish games, mm -hmm. this is one that I would, again, go back and bring an intro person into. Yep. I think it would be like kind of another step above, like say, even Clank. Mm -hmm. But this game, if I'm looking quickly, might be one of the most influential for me for gaming in general. I think that's fair. Yeah. yeah. I think it's super fun, but this is just not one that we regularly go to anymore and even though there are like scenarios you can play the scenarios over and over again you can take different paths and all that stuff you can also get a bunch more expansions we just haven't but i once again yeah like jeff said if we had new friends that are just getting into the hobby and this would be something i'd show them after clank next up on the list oh people are gonna be hating on this this is definitely more of a jeff thing than a me thing. I don't think that's true. I think when I pulled it, you were like, yeah. No. That is Quacks of Fuddlingburg, which is a game that has this lid on the wrong way. What a shock. Shock to no one. Which is a game that I love. This is a bag builder. This was kind of like when we really started to get into the hobby. This was like a 20... 18. This is all Jamie because this game never hit with me. 2018. It came out 2018. Never hit with me. And I this, know that this game is beloved by many. Yeah. Never hit with Jeff, but this has always been like one of my favorites. But now I've been introduced to Wonderland's War, which is like bag builder extreme. It's like Quacks of Quedlingburg with 
fighting and area control in Alice in Wonderland. I haven't pulled this off of the shelf in a very long time. This used to be one of my go-to games. It used to be, what do you want to play? I want to play Quacks, and then Jeff would be like, ugh, I don't want to play that game because I suck at it. And then I would I'd get destroyed. And then he would get really... Let, here's a fun annoyed. fact. Oh. At one game of Quacks, my bag was full of chits. Full. Full of it. In the last round, chit. I pulled four straight white chits. Cherry bombs. If you never played Quacks, those are the bad ones the bad that ones. make you bust. Explode. Such a low percentile chance that I would pull Mm -hmm. those all out in a row and I did. That's quacks for me. That's quacks, but I love it. I've cooled on it mainly because, I don't know, I feel like there's like a lot of setup and then Jeff's always sour when we play. Don't you dare put this on me. Don't you dare. No. But I do think now if I really want, like if I want a bag builder, I would rather play Wonderland's War. Jamie. Then Quacks. How good is Wonderland's War? Oh my War? god, that game is amazing. I do still love both of them. Now, I am going to talk about another game. Jesus, Murphy. Ah. We good. Okay, there is another game that we don't own. We used to own it, but we gifted it. We used it. to own it, but then we ended up gifting it because, why? We pulled on it. And that is like the intro game of intro games. That might be one of the first games we really dove into. Yeah, one of the first for sure. Mm -hmm. And that is, of course, Dominion. Mm -hmm. Now, we never bought any expansions for Dominion. This is like the OG deck building game. This is the game the that game invented is, deck building. The game is deck building. Yes. The game is a mechanic. Yes, it which is. Which is interesting. Yeah. And we played it many times a base game we played it with a few of the expansions and it is just one of those games that after we got clank and i was like oh this is like deck building plus and then we ended up finding more games with deck mm. building and then we were like well i never really want to play dominion again can i be honest with you and this might be a hot take i'm sure i'll hear about it in the comments i don't know where dominion fits anymore in the hobby in the hobby because there's more and more deck builders that come out. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like even Clank for me, mm -hmm. I would rather introduce someone to deck building via Clank than Dominion. Than Dominion yeah. Because I think Dominion is so just the mechanic. I don't know. I still, I like Dominion. I would play it. But it was sitting on our shelf and it was one that we were never, ever pulling out. And we ended up gifting it to my brother. Mm. No, to your friend, to our friend Dan. It's just one that we're like, yeah, here's somebody that's getting into the hobby. Let's give them Dominion. Mm -hmm. But we've completely cooled on it because it is one that we played like a we lot. We did. We played like, a ton a lot. of Dominion. But another one that's on the list that's definitely more of a me thing than a Jeff thing, apparently, is Seasons. Oh, this is the ad? This is the ad. I still like, yeah. I love Seasons. I would definitely play Seasons, but we have never gone out to buy Seasons. It's true. Mm -hmm. We have. It's on BGA, which is. It's tough. on BGA, but I don't like playing it on BGA. I don't mind it. I don't like it. Anyways, it's a great game. I love Seasons. We like loved it when we got into the hobby. My brother had a copy, and we would play his copy. But we never ended up going out and getting our own. But this is one that we like loved. It was like then the step up from Arcadia Quest. It was a bit more complex. It mm -hmm. had like more going on. It's super fun. Yeah. But now it's just one that like. I honestly don't even think about seasons anymore unless I like randomly see it somewhere. It's fair. I mean, when's the last time you played it on BGA? Uh, that's a good question. A long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen, I agree. Maybe I'm holding on to the nostalgia a bit too much, but yeah. I really enjoy seasons. Yeah. I don't know if it has any expansions because of my next point. Uh -huh. And so if it has expansions that negate this next thing for me, then ignore me. But. I almost wish there was a little bit more cards because mm -hmm. we've played it a bunch and like I feel like I've seen everything in seasons. Yes, yeah, that's fair. It's still a great game. Listen, it's still a great game. Yeah. It's just, I haven't thought about it mm -hmm. in a very long time. Yeah, it's a fair point. I, I didn't agree at first, but I think the more I think about it, the more we talk about it, I, uh, I agree. Mm -hmm. Even if we owned it, I don't, I don't know what situation that thing would be hitting the table. Me either. God. This is going to cause some ripples in our community. It makes me you want, want to just sit here and want to cry a little bit, honestly. Silver Bullet is was one of the loves 
of my life. Yeah, I mean, if you if you've been watching our channel since the beginning, yeah, you're aware of how much we loved Silver Bullet, and we've talked about Silver Bullet, and we've introduced Silver Bullet to lots and lots and lots of people. It is by far our most played game still mm -hmm. to this day. Yeah, and we used to play this four five times a week mm -hmm. over and over again. And then I think what happened is I think that I just kept winning. And then Chav kept losing. And that is not he got true. got to the point Can where you he look up our last game? He doesn't want to play with I'm me I'm pretty sure I won our last anymore. game of this. All right, we're going to check. I think she's full of poop. Yeah, that's a load of crap. What really happened is I think we just got way more uh, small box card games. Fantasy Realms took over for a while. Um, that it's competed so with Silver Bullet. Because Silver Bullet was like one of the first small box card games we had. Mm -hmm. So we could pull it out on the on the couch, we could travel with it, and we didn't have a lot of other games that fit that mold, but now we have tons of them. It competes more with more games now than it ever did. This is a victim of us just getting deeper into hobby and discovering more games that are in this realm of small box card game. Jamie, 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 Jeff, Jamie. Jamie no, I said Jamie, the last Jeff, game, Jamie, Jeff, not Jeff, the friggin' Jeff, Jamie, 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 go to the last Jamie. games. Where? Stop being a dingus. Those are our first games. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Go to the Jamie, last Jamie, games. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, you're skewing the data. No, I'm not. The last time we played was May 17th, 2022. You beat me on and my birthday. I won. We played it on, my on birthday. Jamie's freaking birthday. Yes. I won. But suck it. There was a streak where I won like six. And in I a won row. the game before that. Yeah, but then I run like oh my I probably goodness. let you win that. Here's a little context. All of our plays of this game, in 2022, it was played three times. Twice by Jamie and I. Once Jamie played with her her colleague. Yep. Three times this game has been played in 2022. That is the definition yep. of cooling off. Because I'm pretty sure in 2021, we played it... We've played it 57 times. And I feel like that's probably not and even... three of those times were in 2022. All of the rest were in 2021. Do you agree, though? That this became victim of like just us gathering more small box card games. I think so. And and small rolling rates yeah. and stuff. And I do think that there have been times, and I'm not just saying this. If she said she's not just saying this, it means she's <laughs> just saying this. It's just that there have been times where I have like just completely crushed you and, and you get to the point where you're like, there's not even a point in continuing this game. I will admit that <laughs> sometimes when you're playing Silver Bullet, you can get into round one or two and you will not win. Yeah, that's And that is, that is difficult. It's just not the attitude. Because here's the thing. I know in my brain, mathematically, there's no way I can win the game after round two. And so I will be like, all right, you win. Let's move on to the, let's do it again. And Jamie will not let us do that. We no, have, you have to we have to. We have to play it the whole game. Even though mathematically I cannot win. That's not true. I think you can always win. That is such bullshit. You know that's bullshit. You're just catering to your audience now. Point is, I still love this game, and I will always love this game. It's just that it, we've definitely cooled on it. This is probably the definition of cooling on a game, going from playing it like 54 times to three times. This thing used to like live next to us. Yeah, I would. it would always be upstairs. I and, do yeah. think part of it is out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, could be. But Jamie's right. Fantasy Realms, once we got int introduced to Fantasy Realms. Mm -hmm. And then Boomerang Australia. Yeah, and then some of over. these small box rolling rights. Yeah, it is over. what it is, I guess. Yeah. That's Anyways, the hobby though, right? That's the hobby. And plus, like, we're constantly playing new games. Like, we don't have, or like, this is not, this is a first world problem, obviously. Mm -hmm. But we don't have the luxury of playing the same games over and over and over again like we used to. Like, when we got Clank, we played Clank over and over and over and over again. We True. played Quacks and Arcadia Quest and Silver Bullet. And now we're always playing new games. I think most content people would probably agree with that yeah. assessment. I mean, it's difficult to get five plus plays of a game in. For you know? sure. Without, we're not playing any game 52 times. This without, year. without dedicating specific time to older games, mm -hmm. which I think we've discussed about doing. Yeah, February. Um, it's coming at It's you. very, very difficult. Yeah. It's very difficult. For sure. Those are six games that we have cooled on. I would be very interested to know in the comments, what are some games that you yourself have cooled on? Does Silver Bullet make you feel sad? Like it makes me feel sad that we've cooled on it. Aw, we should play it. <laughs>
<laughs> I want to play it now. That is all that we have for you today. If you are interested in buying board games, like any of the many like that we these. mentioned mm. today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Yes, it is. And that's all we have. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see... Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. I am so tired. Like, I could literally fall asleep. Then go to sleep. Like, do you know what I don't understand about Jamie? She'll complain about being tired constantly. And I'll be like, then go to sleep. And she just won't. I, I guarantee don't like you. To sleep. Right now, she's like, I'm exhausted. She won't go to bed till 2 a.m. Calling it. 2 a.m. Like the cool kids. We're going in the hot tub. Anyways, we are here. You're today. flying solo on that venture. No. I need you to harmonize with me. Being a bit of a teenager dirt. She's bag. being a bit of a. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving that in. I'll show the people what you really, you, you're really like. Don't say that. <laughs> then people will think I'm a jerk. You just call me a bitch. You I, for the bit. But then I realized I went too far. Yeah, you were being a bit of a bitch. Um. <laughs> I feel like that one's gonna be a spicy take. Yeah. People are gonna still be don't fighting know how I feel us. about it. Okay. Then okay. No, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I'm calling her out. Raina. Mustard and Meeper. We made a... Uh, uh, no, because it was saved in Let me North finish! Day. We made a meeting with Raina at PaxU, and I don't know if I put Foster the Meeper or if <laughs> she did. put Foster the Meeper. It was saved Unresolved. in Jeff's, like, you know how it, like, auto-populates something? So it was obviously <laughs> you that did it. Don't throw Raina under the bus like that. Raina, if I sent you a request that said Foster the Meeper, just ignore <laughs> it. But yeah, oh, special. I grabbed the wrong one of those. I did notice that. I was wondering why, but. Would you go get the right one, please? Take it down away. I saw it. I'll cut it out. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Should go about my day and explore your whiskers that you wish would go away.